We work so you can play. Mini Wargaming Terrain Tutorials! Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. And this is... Another terrain making video. Oh, who are you? Oh, I'm Melissa. Welcome to the train making room. And this is where we're going to show you the next project that we are working on. Today's project? Um, zombie post office. Why are you asking me? You know what it is. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it is. Zombie's <laughs> the most important thing to you in your life. Whoever built this piece of terrain, we grabbed it off the internet. And, and thank you. We're going to use this as a reference to build our post office. Now this is a picture of your terrain. We have no idea who made it. Thank you very much for the inspiration. You're welcome. You're a... This is what we're going to do, okay? You're going to need this rock. What do you need rocks for? This is a zombie town building that has been made already. I'm distracting people. This is a zombie town building. What's up? Wasabi sauce? It's dangerous. You can die from that. Hey, we're not Japanese. Here's some more zombie town buildings that we've made. Now we're going to make the post office. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Another one. We have to show them every single building. Yes, we do. It uh, feels neglected. You're neglected. Do you know I might be dying my hair green? Green? Don't dye it green. Why? You wear a purple shirt and you look like the Joker. Oh, well that'd be cool. <laughs> Here are the materials that you're going to be needing for this project. Foam board. This, once again, is your staple material. Is We're, your gonna... Sta <laughs> We're not going to staple it. This is your staple material. But you said staple. No, I said, yes, I did say staple. But I said it's a staple material. But you said you're going to staple the material. It's like ketchup and mustard. You're going to need a ruler. A ruler. And an exacto blade, white PVA glue. Don't inhale it. That's like a jug. It's an inhalant. It's an inhalant. <laughs> it's an inhalant. Stick glue. Why do you say stick glue? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's that band around your head, man. Um, tape. Tape? What do you use tape for? Let's tape your mouth you shut. Tape my. What is it, like Joe's Orc truck? Stick this in your ear. I'm gonna stick it in my hippie band. You're a hippie. This is way too big for what we need. We need small brushes. This is a small brush right there. You're a small brush. You won't know. Oh, I'm Dave. <laughs> What's that supposed to do? Because <laughs> you like this. There you go. Oh, thank you. So hopefully you're able to figure out what materials you need. <laughs> okay. Yep. Materials like paintbrush and paint. You might ruin my fro do. Your fro do. <laughs> my fro do. <laughs> so here we have the building that Mel has already cut out. As you can see, only foam board. We cut out a couple windows and we lined up all the seams in the front of the building and on top and on the back as well. So this is cardstock or it's actually a, a box that miniatures came in and we're using it to make some nice decorative stones above the windows because that's what you see in post office buildings. Cutting out the door now. There are no exact measurements with this project, although this door just happens to be five centimeters by five centimeters. Glued it on backwards. Now for the header. Easy peasy. Glue that on. So what we've done here is we've broken some popsicle sticks. We're gluing them in behind the windows. And here we have some craft paper, much like your corrugated cardboard, only a little bit smaller. We're going to be gluing it on to the tops of the windows on top of the popsicle sticks. Because those are shutters, or blinds, or whatever, steel shutters. Those are steel blinds that come down. Some window sills. Stay down, you. And we got a header on top of the door there, and this trip going down. Now to start the painting. This is the best part of the project. It goes by the quickest, too. So look at that, I was just two seconds later and so much more of it was painted. Base coated black. This is black acrylic paint. We get the back side, too. You can always water down the paint a little bit just to make it flow a little bit better. Get every square inch of it, even the shutters. I keep on calling them shutters, they're blinds. Now we're using a domed dry stipple brush and we're stippling on this effect. 
This is kind of an orange-red color. We want it to emulate brick. The color of brick. Now for the name of the building. Zombie Post Office. Ooh, yeah. Very simple. Go over it in black and then go back over it in white. Sticks out a bit because of that shadow effect. Now we're dry brushing the edges of all of the raised areas just to make it stick out a little bit. Painting up the door. I've chosen to use a camo green color for this. Not quite a your traditional green, more of an army green. You're dry brushing it a bit just to make it stand out. Oh, <laughs> wow.